Okay, so question number 20 from June 2021 is actually a little on the challenging side. It's a little different than some of the previous questions on systems and prior Regents exams. So let's take a look. It says, which solution has the same, which system has the same solution as the system below? If I look, I have two equations. I have x plus 3y equals 10, negative 2x minus 2y equals 4. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually solve this system right here for x and y. You may solve it whichever method you prefer. I'm going to solve it by using elimination because my variables are lined up, x's with x's, numbers with numbers. So I'm going to solve by using elimination. I'm going to eliminate my x's because I have a one x right here, positive, negative. I mean, positive, negative, I could eliminate my y's also if I wanted to, but I'm just going to eliminate an X's because I'd rather deal with a 1 and a 2. So the way elimination works is I'm basically going to take this 1 and bring it down here and distribute it to each term. I'm going to take this 2 and bring it up here and distribute it to each term. Now, the reason I'm not distributing a negative 2 is because, look, I have a positive and a negative, and that's exactly what I want. So we're going to distribute. 2 times 1 is 2, so I have 2x. 2 times 3y is 6y, and 2 times 10 is 20. Now I'm going to distribute my 1. 1 times anything is itself, so this equation does not change. So I actually am just going to get negative 2x minus 2y equals 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve that system. My x is eliminate because 2x and a negative 2x gives me a 0x. We don't write it. 6y minus 2y is 4y, and that's equal to 24. Divide both sides of your equation by 4, and you get y equals 6. Now what we need to do is we need to solve for x. So you're going to pick a nice equation. I'm going to pick the first one where it says 1x plus 3y equals 10. So I have 1x plus 3y equals 10. We know y is 6, so I have 1x plus 3 times 6 equals 10. Three times six is 18, so I have one X plus 18 equals 10. We gotta get rid of that 18, so we're gonna subtract by 18 on both sides. And I get X is equal to 10 minus 18 is negative eight. So I want an equation that has solutions of negative eight, six. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're going to plug that answer choice into each equation system. So this is my x value. This is my y value. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to plug in negative 8 and 6 to each of these equations. So I look at this first equation. I have negative negative 8 plus 6 equals 6. Well, negative negative 8 is 8, and 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 is not equal to 6, so it can't be choice 1. So I'm not even going to bother testing this equation, because I know it's not going to matter, because it doesn't work for the first one. So I do negative negative 8 plus 6 equals 14. Negative negative 8 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 equals 14. So that works. So it actually, so far right now, could be choice 2. Now I plug it into my second equation. So I have 2 times negative 8 plus 6 times 6. I'm saying that's equal to 20. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. 6 times 6 is 36. Negative 16 plus 36 is 20. So 20 is equal to 20, so that works. So it's gotta be choice two for this question. So you have to solve your original system for X and Y, and then plug in your answer choices. That's how you do question number 20.